we're here at Mackey Arena, West Lafayette, Indiana. Um, we saw a, uh, a a pretty dominant performance, I think is the only way that you can phrase it. Purdue knocked off Ohio State 82-55 to behind 26 points and 11 boards from the man of the hour himself. We're going to hear from him here yeah. in about five minutes. He's going to be joining us live. But, I, I mean, the, the only way, the best way that I can phrase it is this, Jeff. You've seen Purdue in person already this season. Yeah. This is the first time that I've seen them in person. Zach Eady is demoralizing. That's <laughs> yes, what he yes, is. Yes. He is demoralizing. Yeah. yeah, I mean, no matter who you are, it doesn't matter. I remember talking to Drew Timmy after he played against uh, Gonzaga, and Timmy said, he's like, there's nothing you can do. This guy would – I think his quote was, he was just blessed with God-given shit. <laughs> yes. And he was. But the thing with Zach Eady was – Again, wasn't very good. I did a story uh, in, on him recently on Stadium and has only been playing for six years. Wasn't very good uh, when he came to Purdue. In fact, said, you know, first workout, you know, he's missing everything, right? He can't catch the ball. Mm -hmm. And Painter's yelling at the guards, keep getting him the ball. Matt Painter saw something in him, kind of knew what he could be. And, and this is the perfect situation. You see it here after the game, right? Like, for you, this was a little different. You mm -hmm. haven't spent time around Zach Eady. I've talked to him a bunch lately. He's just such a good kid, so appreciative because, again, of where he came from. He's not a kid who's had his ass kissed his whole life. Mm -hmm. I I shared this photo on, on Twitter, and I put the video on to uh, TikTok and Instagram. But after the game, there was a line. You can't really see it over here, but over on the other side of the bowl, there was a line of kids literally halfway around the court, right? Just waiting for them. There's only one tunnel for you to get in and out in Mackey Arena. The kids were just lined up all the way around. And I'm not talking about college kids. I'm talking about like little kids, eight, 10, 12 year olds screaming him, Edie, 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 Edie. It sounded like a flock of birds in here. And Zach, after the game, did his media obligations, did an interview with us on the court, yep. saw his mom talked to his family and then signed every autograph and yeah. took every single selfie for every single person waiting. He was here for an hour. Yep. And here's the craziest part. He does that every single home game. It's a little bit tricky yep. Yep. on the night games. If it's a nine o'clock tip and it's late, but he does that as much as he can every single time an hour after every game. How many players do that? Not many. How many I mean, Oscar, Oscar did it. Oscar's done it at Kentucky as well. Mm -hmm. He's unbelievable, but it's, it's refreshing. It is refreshing to see somebody, again, develop, uh, get better. You know, one of the things I remember talking to him about extensively uh, was NIL. And he said to me, you know, he, he's from Canada, so he's got restrictions on it. We're talking about Purdue not being able to do that much for him. And he said, like, how can I really be upset about anything with NIL when Matt Painter gave me a chance and nobody else did? I think the number he says is like, you know, he was ranked 455th coming mm -hmm. out of high school you know think about it he was on the b team at img armando baycott who i talked to for the story really had no idea who he was mm -hmm. i mean pretty much he was just like ah, that was that big dude right yep. and now he knows who he is because he's the best player in the country and somebody that <laughs> still is going to give it, Purdue a chance. it's the year of the big right right, right. it's the year of the big armando baycott was yeah. supposed to be the year of the big yeah. now it's zach Eady. he took armando yeah. baycott's shot um this is my favorite stat david jenkins is, is close to getting yeah. 2,000 points in his yeah. uh, Purdue yeah. career or in his basketball career. He started playing college basketball before Zach Eady started playing basketball, period. That's amazing. It's, 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 it's fantastic. And David Jenkins, actually a guy that when you talk to the players a little bit, very underrated in what he brought to the team chemistry-wise. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people thought he was coming in thinking he was going to average 15, whatever it was. Jenkins has been that that older dude that keeps it loose, I've known J David a long time, and he's won. You know, he won a lot of games at South Dakota State playing with Mike Dom. Mm -hmm. Then he stuck around there. Then he went to UNLV. Where else did he go? Did I miss a place? No, I think that was it. That was it. But, yeah. again, this Purdue team is not overwhelming. And and my big question mark now is can Fletcher we'll, Lawyer we'll get, get that it in a back? Second. There is one person that is overwhelming yes. on this yes. Purdue team, and that is Zach Eady. 